Gray, another deadbolt hunter. Hands of Jackson, busy. Wait a minute. You're not dead. Yes! Now I can get off this glacier. Claptrap, your metaphorical ship has finally come in. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a CL4PTP steward bot. But my friends call me Claptrap. Or they would if any of them were still alive. Or had existed in the first place. Oh, I've got something for you. Here, take this echo communicator that I totally didn't lose from one of these horses. It comes with a crash full heads up display. Complete with a mini map. Now, come go, friend. Let's get you inside. Man, this is great! Now that I've met a mighty bump hunter, I can finally join the resistance of Sanctuary, take vengeance against Jack and killing my butterfly, and repair my central processor, so I stop thinking out loud! I wonder what it's like to have a bump hunter. You got it? I'll explain everything soon, but know this. You're alive for a reason, and I am here to help you. Alright guys, this is Borderlands 2 walkthrough, and I am Jai, and this is going to be the best walkthrough in the whole internet. <laughs> or maybe not, I don't know yet. Um, we're playing the Siren, you might already notice that. And this is my favorite character, and um, this is going to be a real walkthrough, so um, I will do it map by map, so the whole first um, episode will be in the witchy waste until we kill Knuckle Dragger, and um, I might even show you different tactics on how to do it, or um, at least I tell you. And um, I can try. It doesn't always work to immobilize uh, Knuckle Dragger so that he doesn't move anymore and he's an easy target. Um, but um, I'm telling you first the absolute safest way to kill him. I am a Premier Club member, so I've got the gearbox weapons and this um, uh, old hunter's relic that gives me a better chance of rare loot drops. But I won't equip, equip it, and as soon as I right, reach Lyersburg, I'm gonna sell it at, at the vendors, everything. So I'm starting with what you probably can start with, which is nothing. <coughs> Alright, um, I'm gonna loot everything right here, because I am doing this every time. Um, I'm really patient uh, when it comes to games like that. I'm not rushing through it, although I can. Don't get me wrong. Um, I can't even speedrun this if I really want to, but um, this is, you know, not um, the way I am. I try not to speak over the NPCs. Try. Okay. And open! Just a little attitude. Gotta keep those bully bombs at bay, or they'll rip your eyes out. Rip your eyes out. Jesus Christ. Voice modulator would be better with you guys, but no. It's gonna be your eye, doesn't it? Anyway. Volt symbol. Challenge complete. Talking a lot, and um, there's no, not much 
you know, that I can get between, um, those, um, well, things that they say, um, so I'm gonna shut up and let them do the talking. Oh, hang on. One important thing, though. I'm gonna disable the bonus stats, alright? They're not that good anyway. And I just want to show you, and I'm talking over her, yes. I just want to show you that you don't really need those bonus stats. If you know what you're doing, you don't need it. And you don't really need fancy weaponry to get through this game. Especially not the normal mode. To prove all times of mode is a little bit different. Because it is definitely harder. Um, I don't like the second playthrough or e even at any second playthrough. I mean, <laughs> there are six characters in two playthroughs. Uh, no, now three playthroughs, and you're wondering how many times you're supposed to play through this game. Ridiculous. Would be 18 times. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm talking over the NPCs, I'm sorry. And if, if you want to, to listen to what they say, um, buy the game. It's definitely worth it. It's a good game. But there's really things that I don't understand. That really doesn't make sense, alright? But that's just me, it's my opinion, you don't have to share my opinion, alright? And I don't know whether um, the audio settings are um, too loud or not. Um, I hope that the NPCs are not louder than me. But I'll uh, have to check. Oh god, he's so annoying. It's like 3 CPO. Never stops talking. God. Okay, first bully moms. Uh, best way, in my opinion, to kill them is position yourself there and then just couple of rounds right into their face when they land there and um, oops that wasn't picture perfect there will be two more jumping right there as well as you can see and this is the best way to actually kill them there's always five enemies five little bully monks and I'm gonna collect everything they drop which is just a dollar holy crap I'm rich um, okay um, now a very important thing to you, because this is supposed to be a walkthrough um, that shows you how to get through this game the easiest way possible and the easiest way possible is to fight as few enemies as possible. Um, the, in the beginning, it's more important than than later on, and you want to wait until he drops down there so that you don't have to fight so many bully monks. All right. Um, and wait until they approach you on a direct path or a straight line oh there's the big one. Oh man I'm a bad shot right now by the way I have the aim assist oh crap off because um, I hate those jumpers it will bite me in the ass later when I fight uh, Mitchmon because I have a tactic to um, kill Mitchmon that <laughs> I haven't seen on the internet anywhere. Okay, I'm always interested in how others do things and I'm gonna search the internet or YouTube and there's nobody, nobody that does it the way I do and trust me, my way is the best way. In this case, I really want to say that. 
um, because I completely immobilize Mitch Mong. He's not moving at all. Can't summon any support or anything, and I will guarantee. Really, I guarantee a critical hit kill on the midget and a critical hit melee kill on the mon. Alright, so something you can look forward to. Um I'm running straight up there. Buys me a little more time to for um for this knuckle drag I think. Um That is not the safest way to do this. The safest way is to go back into that tube where you got through. Um, this tube back there, because Knuckle Dragger can't get in there. Now, there he is. And he's jumping over here. Hang on. Come on. Nope. I want him to jump. Not there. Oh, well, that's not not good. I want him to. No, over here. Ah, oh, it's not working out. See, that's that's not the safest way to do this. Because actually. He's hitting me, and now he's getting back up there. And if you have him here, behind this one, he can't jump over there and summon support. Now you actually have to fight everyone. Three additional bully monks, and that's why I'm now heading over there to be safe from their attacks. The little guys, although... Crap. The little guys can't get it. Can get in here. The big guys can. There they are. The little guys. Be back in there. What the hell? I just want to go back in this tube. Jesus Christ! What the hell is happening? Alright, this really didn't work out the way I planned it. Lucky me that there is health. Oh man, can you just stop it? Alright. You always level up when you kill <laughs> Knuckle Dragger. Oh damn, that the thing that I tried to do didn't work. Because it's cut it's fucking awesome. Um That's the eye. And we're gonna collect the money if we are able to pick it up. You can't just walk over it, apparently. Oh, that's a crappy weapon. Oh. Alright. I think this is gonna be a walkthrough where I just get crappy weapons. Um. Okay. Um. Wasn't there something else? How did I miss that? Okay, so hard to spot. Alright. <coughs> Firebirds on the other side of this Hyperion barge. Let's say we cut through it, chum. Alright. This door's Hyperion Tech. Child. So and open. First thing that I wanted to show you didn't work out. 
Uh, but I told you that it's um, hard to get him trapped behind this antenna or what this is. And when you when you have him um, down to half his health, he's jumping over there. But when he's behind this, he can't, and he just stays there and does nothing. No um, more bully monks will appear. You can just actually even melee him with criticals. Because he's really not doing nothing. And when he's dead, those three bully monks will appear. But only then. And that's uh, actually a pretty cool thing. But, you know, it's a walkthrough. And when you try to do something, it usually doesn't work out. Especially when you know that it doesn't always work. Because you can't get him always exactly on that spot. Because he has to jump there. And he's not always doing it. That's the that's the thing about this. So the the best way is, and you saw that. Oh man, that's just one in the mag. Best thing to um, do it, uh, or, uh, is staying in the tube, just backing up there, and then try to kill him. Anyway, now he's gonna tell you some more shit, and I don't care for that. 